Before watching the video, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification icon to get the instant updates. So let's start with the topic chemical kinetics. Now what does the word kinetics refer to? Refers to kinetic energy. Kinetic word refers to what? The motion or movement. In relation to chemical reaction, the motion of a chemical reaction would actually relate to the speed of the chemical reaction. So, this chemical kinetics is actually related with speed or the rate of a chemical reaction. Related with speed or rate of a chemical reaction. Now, let's start with a basic understanding of a chemical reaction. In simple words, a chemical reaction can be defined as the conversion of reactant into the product. A chemical reaction is simply the conversion of a reactant into the product. Now, for any chemical reaction, there are three aspects which are important to be considered. Three aspects of a chemical reaction. Meaning what? First aspect of chemical reaction is to understand feasibility of a reaction. Feasibility. Feasible ka simple meaning hai possible. Is it feasible? Is it possible? Yes. Feasibility is basically the possibility of a reaction. So, before carrying out any chemical reaction, we need to first check whether that reaction is possible or not. Aisa to nahi hai, we take two reactants and ask them to react and they will react. No, no. There are certain conditions under which the reactant will combine and form products. Correct? Now, this feasibility can also be written as spontaneity. Spontaneity meaning the reaction taking place on its own. Matlab, if the reaction is possible, it might be that it is taking place on its own. That is called spontaneity. Now, this feasibility or spontaneity of a reaction is determined by the branch of physical chemistry that is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics. In surface chemistry, I had talked about this feasibility concept. Adsorption. Adsorption ka thermodynamics I had discussed. And that was discussed with a parameter delta G called Gibbs free energy. Gibbs free energy. And one more parameter delta S called entropy. Entropy is basically the measure of disorderedness of a system. Disorderedness matlab, if I talk about gaseous system, the molecules are rapid and random, highly disordered, meaning its entropy is high. Solids have a very ordered structure, meaning they have a lower entropy. That is a simple understanding of entropy. And for thermodynamics, we talk about total entropy associated with the reaction and thermodynamically the condition for the reaction to be feasible or spontaneous is delta G should be negative or delta S total should be positive. Meaning given a chemical reaction we can calculate delta G if it comes out to be negative I can say this reaction is feasible. If it comes out to be positive it will not be feasible, meaning the reactant will not spontaneously convert into the products. Clear? The second aspect of chemical reaction to be considered is extent of a reaction. So we know that reactions can be reversible or irreversible. For irreversible reaction, the reactants would get converted into products. But for reversible reaction, we need to check the completion of the reaction, whether the reactants are completely getting converted into the products. And for the reversible reaction, this extent can be found or calculated by 
Lee Chartier's principle and by a parameter that is equilibrium constant. Meaning, the extent of a reaction is understood by what branch of chemistry? Equilibrium and the parameter associated is equilibrium constant. We know that equilibrium constant is the ratio of concentration of products to the concentration of reactants. Higher the equilibrium constant, higher will be concentration of the products. Equilibrium will be shifted to the right side and there will be more formation of the products. So we have already talked about equilibrium. The third aspect for a chemical reaction is the speed of a reaction. Speed of a reaction. How fast or slow the reaction takes place. Now that is understood by this branch of chemistry which is called chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. So chemical kinetics is simply the branch of physical chemistry which deals with the speed of a reaction. Along with the speed of the reaction, we would also study the factors which can influence the speed of the reaction. The external factors could be catalyst, temperature, pressure, that is catalyst. No? What other factors could influence? Surface area, very good. We know that if I take a solid material and its powdered form, the speed of the reaction would be faster for powdered form. powdered form because the particles aggregate have a large surface area that we have talked in surface chemistry, right? What else? Concentration of the reactants and the products. If the concentration of the reactants is higher, meaning the reaction has not yet started. As the concentration will keep on decreasing for the reactant and increasing for the product, we can say the reaction has initiated and in what time that change is occurring, if we calculate that, we will be able to analyze the rate or the speed of the reaction. So the simple factors which can influence are catalyst, temperature, pressure, surface area, which also relates to the nature of the reactant. Surface area matla nature of the reactant and also the physical state solid, liquid, gas. Concentration, concentration of the reactant and the product. Nature of the substance mein aagaya na? Substance pure hai, nahi hai, nature. Clear? And to understand the speed of the reaction, I need to know the need details of the reaction. Matlab, ek reaction jab hum likhte hai, we just talk about what is the reactant and what is the product. How the reaction is actually happening, if I talk on the details of that, what is that called? Mechanism. Very good. Mechanism. And we have talked about few mechanisms in organic chemistry. E? FS, FSR, free radical. Very good. The names, short forms, FSR, a free radical substitution reaction. Can you give me an example of FSR? Free radical? CH3Cl. Formed from reactant care. Very good. That was halogenation of alkanes. Methane ka chlorination. Happens in presence of UV. 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 CH4 plus Cl2 in presence of UV from CH3Cl and HCl. That was an example of FSR. For that mechanism, kya tha? what is the role of UV? Absorb the energy and breaks down the Cl2 into free radical. What is that list is called? Homolysis. So the basic mechanism over there was breakdown of the chlorine into radicals. Radical attacks the methane, abstracts the H to form HCl and then CH3 and Cl combines to form CH3Cl. And that entire mechanism was simply named as free radical substitution reaction mechanism. We had also talked about MR and NTMR mechanism. 
Markovnikov's and anti Markovnikov's or the peroxide or Karaj effect. Mark a case mein, what was the intermediate formed in the mechanism? Very good. A carbo cation. So the whole rate or speed of that reaction dependent on stability of the carbo cation. And what is the stability order for a carbo cation? 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2 1. 1. Meaning, if in a reaction I get a tertiary carbocation which is highly stable, then the reaction would be faster. If I get a primary carbocation, the rate of that reaction would be slower. So, mechanism gives you the idea about what? Speed or the rate of the reaction. So, chemical kinetics or in this chapter, we are going to talk about three major things. First, how to calculate the rate of reaction second the factors which could influence the rate of reaction and thirdly a very important part that is mechanism the working of any reaction if i talk about different chemical reactions then some reactions takes place at a very slower rate and some reactions takes place at a very faster rate Example of a very slow reaction in day-to-day -day life. Any example? Shortening of milk. Fermentation process. Milk getting converted to curd via the bacteria involved. So that uh, takes place overnight. Meaning it does take time. Meaning that is a slow reaction. Any example of a very fast reaction? Hmm? Lightning. lightning, yes. Lightning process me kya hota hai? The nitrogen and oxygen which are present in the atmosphere. In the absence of lightning, do nitrogen and oxygen actually combine to form the oxide? No. But when the lightning strikes, N2 and O2 can react because of the high temperature and form the nitrogen oxide as NO, which can oxidize to NO2 which can combine with the moisture to form HNO3 and that results into acid rain. So that process is very fast or spontaneous meaning it is a fast reaction. Ionic reactions are the fastest reactions when I talk about chemical reactions. Ionic reaction ka example the neutralization or the reverse hydrolysis of the salt. NaOH and HCl gives you NaCl water. So this neutralization reaction involves a combination of the ions Na plus and Cl minus H plus and OH minus. It's a very very fast reaction because of the attraction between the oppositely charged ions plus and minus. And there are some reactions which are moderate. So whatever reactions we observe in organic chemistry or the inorganic chemistry, some of them are also moderate reaction which can be speeded up with the help of a catalyst. So what does a catalyst do? It enhances or speeds up a chemical reaction. Understood? Now why we are studying chemical kinetics? What is the importance? What is the importance? Why we are studying chemical kinetics? To analyze speed of a reaction. Is that important? Definitely yes. Various industries work on the manufacturing concept. And the manufacturing internally is related with some chemical reaction happening. So let's say textile industry hai ya biscuits formation ka industry hai. So they all have a reaction which will manufacture a particular product. Now if that internal reaction is very slow, the production rate also will be very slow. Ultimately it will affect the profitability of the company. So if by some manner the rate of the reaction is increased, it will increase the production, it will increase the profitability. So that entirely works at the base of chemical kinetics. Pharmaceutical industry if I take medicines, the medicines which we consume have different effects on the biological reaction. Some medicines are used to speed up a particular reaction and some are used to slow down the reaction. So again slowing down, speeding up that is related to kinetics. 
so they need to study the kinetics of that biological reaction for the medicine to effect or work here fruits and vegetables they are preserved in refrigerator if we just allow them to stay out for a longer time they will rot spoil ho jayega why because at high temperature the effect of the bacteria is much much faster but that same effect can be slowed down if the temperature is lower that's where refrigerator comes into picture the vehicles work on different fuels like diesel petrol cngs correct now all these have different fuels involved in it cng as the main component of methane it's compressed natural gas which involves methane petrol diesel involves higher hydrocarbons in the range of 7 8 or 15 16 carbon correct so all the fuels basically work on the reaction of combustion jab hum ignite karte hai to what actually happens is burning and burning of a hydrocarbon is nothing but combustion will the rate of burning of methane or the higher hydrocarbon be same it will be different because the number of carbon and hydrogen involved is different so will the engine related to different fuels which are used in the vehicles be same no we have different engine if it is a diesel car or a petrol car or a cng basically the rates actually will help the engineers to design the engine for a particular fuel whether it is diesel or petrol or maybe cngs so again the study or the knowledge of chemical kinetics in that aspect is important clear a common phenomena in day to day life rusting which is related with corrosion rusting of iron so that rusting takes place in presence of moisture, moisture in the presence of atmosphere that is air so if we have some iron in the moist condition it will rust faster but if there is dry air condition the process is slowed down kinetically slow ho gaya yahan pe kinetically fast hai so again different conditions mein the kinetic study is important so that we can design or we can uh, uh, have some preventive measures for avoiding corrosion or rusting of iron clear so in day to day life there are many such aspects where the study of chemical kinetics is definitely required clear